Hi everyone, my name is Ala, and I'm software engineer here at hrflow.ai. In today's demo, I'm going to cover how you can set up quickly the hrflow Python SDK. I'm also going to cover the different processing layers making hrflow a powerful API. Our Python SDK is basically designed to handle simply and easily complex HR integrations, helping programmers to increase their productivity by focusing on one complete tool. We will do that in three simple steps using a Google Colab notebook. First of all, we will prepare the environment by installing the Python SDK. Then we will set up the HRflow client. After that, we will discuss how HRflow package can be used as springboards for many use cases, such as parsing, revealing, or even more advanced tasks like matching a set of profiles with a given job offer. Let's walk through each of these steps more in details. The first step to set up the API client is to install HRflow SDK from the package manager. Here, we set up all dependencies. Then, we create an instance of the client with an API key and API user. The API secret key is available in HRflow dashboard under settings, API, and keys. There are multiple level of permissions, write, read, and read write key. Let's take the read write, read write key. With that client variable setup, we can use it now to parse profile document using the add file method of the profile parsing object. In the API documentation on developers.hrflow.ai, you can find code examples that you just have to copy and paste to get up and running. Add file method needs a binary profile and a source key as an entry point. The rest of parameters are mandatory. So I'll go back to HRflow dashboard, click on sources, and copy a source key. I'll set a random reference and set sync parsing parameter to one for real time parsing. All it takes are a few seconds to get your resume parsed. Same applies to any HR text. In this example, I will take a job offer description to parse. So I'll switch to API documentation, go to document endpoints, and click on document parsing. The post method needs the text as an input to send you back the result. The revealing feature of the document API works similarly. So I'll go back to the API documentation and document revealing. And by reusing the same text below, I can predict missing hard skills and soft skills from the original description. HRflow.ai offers you also the possibility to, to save HR document using a route called indexing. Let's try to index a job by copying an example from the API documentation. Here I need formatted job with a random reference. And the board key. So I'll switch to a dashboard 
click on boards and copy the board key. I run the cell. And that's it. My job has been successfully saved. In order to match profiles and jobs, the first step is to make sure that they are correctly parsed, revealed in ideal world, and of course, indexed. The second step is to have an agent in your HR flow dashboard. Agents are scoring AI models that you can retrain on your own data. So I'll go to I'll go back to API documentation and click on profile endpoints and get profile scoring. I need a list of source key. So I'll copy a source key from a chart for dashboard. And I I need a board key. I switch to a chart for dashboard and copy the board key. For that, I need a job key. So I click on board, all jobs, and then copy the jockey. I need also the use agent set to one, and the rest of parameters are not mandatory. That said, computing scores becomes one line of code task. The API response provides two arrays. The scores are the first column of predictions, and the other array is the matched profiles. And this is how to implement a chair flow in five minutes. 